Oh man, I'm hanging from last night. Uh, did you pull? Nah, no, not me, man. You know what? I wonder where Tim is. You know what? I was thinking that. I don't know where he is. Yeah, he should be here now because the show's going to be starting, so. Oh, yeah. Oi, oi, here he is. Hey, man. What's going on, boys? How's it going? Not mate. Mm -hmm. Did you pull? Yeah, of course. Classic Tim. Classic. What about you? You know me. Just a quiet one. Yeah, the illness. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Boys. I fancy a piece. Oh, I love it. Yeah, yeah, sure. Of course, you know what? I'll order it right now. Get a meat piece oh. for me. Big John. Yeah, oh, please. yes. Oh, Big John to sort us big boys Hello? out. Meat feast. John, yeah, definitely meat feast. Sweet. Can we have a meat feast, please? Tim Connor, you're only five. Hello and welcome to Loose Lads. How loose are we? Well, if you give me a starting price, we'll see as always. I'm here with our sports expert, Yaz, and my Stormzy living amigo, Connor. What's our show looking like today, and boys? Well, we have all the sports news from the past week and exclusive starts at World Series of Chair Racing. Sounds exciting. Tim, I hear we have a Gotham native coming in for an interview. Yeah, it should be a good watch. I'm sure it will be. But before all that, we have the topic of reboots. There have been quite a few in the last year, so let's hear your thoughts on the new Top Gear that's been gaining a lot more attention recently, because quite frankly, I have no interest. Same. I'm not going to watch it. That's the end of it, really. Yeah. I mean, Chris Evans is in it, so I mean, that's just, that's just a red flag already. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll turn off anything with Chris Evans on. <laughs> it's, like, it's, like, it's like a curse. It's like, oh, oh this is a really good show. Chris is on it. Nah, off and <laughs> he could be in Game of Thrones and I wouldn't watch it again. <laughs> but Joey's all right, I suppose. I mean, yeah. I'm glad he's, you know. Well, yeah. It's a bit past it now. Yeah. Though. I think that's because we're all familiar with him. Yeah, yeah, I bet he's probably gone broke, so he needs to just get a bit of money, doesn't he, really? That's, yeah. that's true. Should the BBC have paying yeah, I'm sure. Well. Sure, the BBC pay, <laughs> pay handsomely. Yeah, but they could they could pretty much get anyone because it is the BBC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose. Who would you choose then, Yaz? My dream team. Your dream team. Don't do this to me, lads. I would have. You know, I love Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah. yeah we I reckon. Oh, we all know about it. We know, mate. Because he's just perfect. Because he honest. could do cars. You know, you've seen him in his movies. Yeah. And he's, he could be the poster boy for it as well. Then I'll have Rick Ross. Rick Ross. Jackie Chan. Rick Ross. Jackie Chan and Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah. That's a good team, man. That is a, that good, is a team. good team. Try and beat my team. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right. I'm saying Mike Tyson, <laughs> Gandhi, and the Cheeky Girls. <laughs> You've always got to have the Cheeky Girls in there. One of them one yeah. is presenter, the other one races. I like that. But you don't know if they swap because you don't know which, which do you? <laughs> yeah. You don't know which one. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Every week that could yeah, be. Yeah, bit of a guess <laughs> name. Like, is that, is that the I don't know their names, but <laughs> just Cheeky Girl 1, Cheeky Girl 2. <laughs> which one is it? You don't know. You, Connor? I don't know. For me, I reckon I'd have to go for someone like Idris Elba. Yeah. Maybe Mike Myers, do a bit of Shrek impersonation, something <laughs> like, like that. Like, just, and then, like you know him, John Cena. Yes. John Cena as the stick. You, you would need John Cena as the stick as well. Yeah, he doesn't need to wear the helmet. He, he is just the stick. Yeah, fair, fair. Right. And then once we can get the Undertaker to come in, so it's like a whole like, cut the lights. So it's just like going to be WWE. WWE. Yeah. So we'll turn, we'll turn Top Gear into wrestling. They'll be lifting yeah. cars up and throwing them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be good just halfway through the new segment they usually have. They just yeah. start wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't know what's going on. You're just like, well, I mean, it's still they, have to, they have to wrestle and try and drive at yeah. the same time. But hopefully, like, we've asked teams that we've picked, the, yeah. the best friends, because yeah. the Jeremy Clarkson, Richard, you yeah. know, they're all, all good friends, and I think we'll do a good job because we're good friends. Yeah, 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 yeah. we're yeah. pretty right. good friends. You know. Well, uh, I think you're like James May, Connor, you know? Me? <laughs> Nobody wants to be James May. It's like being Alfred from Batman. Strange you should mention Alfred from Batman. As the new Superman Batman film is coming out, what do you boys think of it? Well, I've already seen it and uh, I thought it was pretty good. The reviews are a bit mixed, so I was a bit sceptical, so I just sort of went in there, not high hopes, and I enjoyed myself. Yeah. Well, I think it's the reviews that kind of put me off. Yeah, so I was yeah. really excited to see it, but then I was disappointed with the reviews. But I'll yeah. wait for it to be on TV or something to watch it, you know, when it's, when oh, yeah. it's free, yeah, if I'm honest. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just, you know, if reviews aren't good enough, I just don't want to watch it, you know. That's so true. 
But I reckon if it was done like in, in a different era, yeah, it would have been really good. A different era? Which era? Like the future? The 90s, like, because all films are better in the 90s. It's just not true. That's the 80s. <laughs> no, no, it's the 90s. <laughs> Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, my, okay. Bad, my bad. I'll just yeah. okay. see that. Tom Cruise was big there. <laughs> yeah. okay, no, but think about Batman in the 90s. That, that was, was pretty cool. That was terrible. <laughs> no, it that was terrible. terrible. My childhood lived on Batman in the 90s. You weren't born when that film came out, Yaz. Yeah, but... I know when you were born, then. <laughs> <laughs> that film came out in 1992. Yeah, but I was born in 95. From 95 till 99. Loved that film. Even till now. Still got the, still got the video. My, my childhood superhero is yeah. Spider-Man. You know, the old... Yeah. Um, you know the old ones from 2000 and something? With yeah, that, yeah, with to what's his Toby Toby Maguire, Toby Maguire. Toby Maguire. Yeah. Yeah. Who would end in a fight? Spider-Man or Batman? Well, it's got to be Spider-Man. He's an actual yeah. superhero. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Batman's just like a rich kid <laughs> who wants to fight crime. <laughs> like, why don't you just get a job, mate? Be that bored. Yeah. But imagine, like, Batman versus the Hulk. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. But any of the superhero versus the Hulk, you kind of think, oh, we've got a chance. What, you, that you think, it sounds like you think you can take on Batman, mate. Yeah. I can take yeah. on Batman. All right. Which, which Batman. Batman, though? This, any Batman, I'll take him on. 100%. I reckon you have a shot of George Clooney, just because it's George Clooney. No. This Batman, the new one, I'll take him on. Oh, I forget it. Well, Yaz claims that he could take Batman in a fight. Let's see what the man himself has to say. So, Mr. Batman. Uh, I'd like to be Bruce Wayne. Bruce Wayne? Oh, yes. Right, I apologise. Bruce Wayne. How do you feel about Christian Bale? I mean, he did all right in the uh, old Batman film. Yeah, Ben didn't really get my... Uh, Persona, right? He was a bit. He looked the part. He played the part. Just that voice, you know. He sounded like a chain smoker. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Are you not a smoker then? No, I, I, I'm very uh, clean. Clean like cigarettes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I go for the cigars instead. Of course. A yes. billionaire lifestyle. I mean, you can't refuse some goodies. Mm -hmm. isn't it? Yep. Uh, you're looking pretty good, gym wise. Uh, what sort of routine are you using? Oh, I've been going to the gym. Been going CrossFit. 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 Yeah. CrossFit. How's that? Is it? Uh, how Rick Ross does CrossFit. I mean, a lot of big celebrities are doing it these days. Uh, yeah. How do you about? find it? It's, it's quite a lot of work, you know, I'm just following... Uh, the instructions. Yeah, the instructions and, uh, yeah, it's being fit. How's Alfred? Alfred's doing well. We, we celebrated his uh, 70th birthday the other day. 70? Wow. Yeah. wow. He's, he's still kicking about, you know, still getting my tea and all that. He's still got him working? Yeah, he's still working well, you know. He's still got another five years before he's... Uh, retires? Yeah, he retires. He retires? Yeah. Uh, how's Catwoman? Uh, we don't. We don't talk about that. Oh, you know, it's, your, it's your private life. I don't wish to pry too much, I assume. Mm. Uh, how do you feel about Marvel versus DC? I mean, fun competition between you two? Yeah, I'm confident. It's gonna, I think it's going to break off this record. Well, yeah. I mean, the Avengers, you know, they, oh, they did some, no, 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 no. some nasty numbers. I mean, are you sure you're going to top that? Or? I will easily top that. Yeah. Easily. Batman Fight and, talk. and Superman, you know? Yeah, I mean, We're the best. Team. it is a team. But I mean, mm. you know, Marvel have got quite a big monopoly going at the moment on the cinema front. Are you thinking DC can... Smash through it, or because mm -hmm. they haven't got one thing. Well, they, they haven't got a Batman. They haven't got a Batman. They haven't got a Batman. Of course, Bruce, you've done it again, mm. mate. You've done it again. Thank you for your time. Uh, it's been good talking to you, Batman. Thank you. Well, good luck with the film, I suppose, and I hope uh, it all goes well. Yeah. Hopefully, you'll beat Marvel in your race for box office money, and uh, good luck. Thank you. I reckon I can take him, honestly. Uh, but now it's time for the sports news from the past week with me, our resident Mr. Walker, aka Gary Lineker. Uh, first of all, let's take a look at the Premier League table. Leicester City, our top. Oh, what a fantastic year. What a fantastic year. 50,000 to 1 at the start of the year to win the Premier League. If you was lucky enough to put a quid on, I respect you. I would have given you a handshake personally, because what a good bet that was. Uh, they are now three points away from winning the title after their 4-0 win away at Swansea. Uh, what a fantastic year. Uh, congratulations to Mares as well, who's won PFA Player of the Year. 18 goals and 11 assists. It's just been fantastic. Again and again, every week, him and Jamie Vardy banging in the goals, getting in the assists. That is why they're top of the league. Uh, also, big shout out to Dele Alli, who's won PFA Young Player of the Year. Um, as an Arsenal fan, it does pain me to say that he's done well, but, you know, he's kind of, he's had an all right season. Um, you know, Aston Villa, bottom of the league. Tro asked the producer not to include my on the table because they've been disgraceful. Really bad, really bad. Uh, moving on to boxing, Anthony Joshua has booked his first defence of his IBF heavyweight title on the 25th of June. Uh, his opponent has claimed that he can knock him out in the first round. You know, we've heard it all before, Anthony Joshua, please just do him the job, you know. Uh, there is a Tyson versus Klitschko rematch uh, on the 9th of July as well, 
you know, big summer, I'm looking forward to it. But so as I mentioned earlier, we do have an exclusive start to our World Series chair racing. But before that, let's take a look at our competition. Now it's your chance at home to win something for yourself. We're giving you the chance to go on a holiday of a lifetime. Let's see where you might go. You might be going to Vienna, visiting the beautiful museums and cultural monuments that define Austria's history. Or Paris, going to the beautiful shops and seeing the wonderful architecture. Or maybe even a trip to London to go see a West End show and a night in the Five Star Hotel. To gain a chance to win these three fantastic holidays, all you have to do is tell us who is starring as Superman in the new Batman v Superman film. Please text us in at 07859 4779. It will cost you a standard network rate, and please ask your bill payers permission before entering. Good luck. Oh, is that pepperoni? Yeah? Yes, it is. Oh, Good thing I ordered that. Yeah. All right. So as I mentioned earlier, we do have an exclusive start to the World Series of Chair Racing, uh, and I think it's time to meet our first racer, Timothy East. He's just come out of prison for a string of offences, and he's here to prove that he's just as good as he once was. Yes, I am. Ain't that right? As always, is on the X26 carbon fibre chair with G7 series wheels. And if you know anything about the G7 series wheels, you know they are just the same as any other wheel. Uh, second racer, we do have Conafe. Uh, since the league only has two participants, uh, he has actually won it five years in a row by default. So with the added pressure, he can actually win it for his sixth year in a row. Uh, we'll find out soon enough who will win this year. Boys, you ready? Ready, yeah. man. Well, looks like Connor won that one. <laughs> what a fantastic race. You can find out more about this race and other races at chairrace.com. But right now, back up to the studio. Tim? Thank you, Yaz. That was an amazing race, and well done to Connor for winning. Now we're going to Frankie Smith, who's at the World Weed Chair Conference. What's it looking out there, Frank? Wow, Tim. If you thought this sport is terrible, then the conference is no better. We're outside the Wheelchair Race HQ, which is this cheap motel. <coughs> I was told I would be meeting elite sportsmen, but... All I've seen are women who suspiciously look like prostitutes. How much? Pardon? I said sounds tough. Are you sure you're in the right place? Well, I followed the instructions the direction production team gave me. Uh, ended up in a place that I would appreciate from a distance rather than coming to. Well, keep plodding along, Frank. I'm sure you'll find an interview. Why not interview you? You were in the race. Actually, so was Connor. Why am I here? She's found us out. Oh, we had the pizza, so we're in the clear. Did you say pizza? Um, no. No. I definitely heard someone say pizza. All right, we got Big John's. Did you save me a slice? No. Why didn't you save me a slice? I forgot, Frank. What do you want from me? Well, first off, I'm a girl, so call me Frankie. Well, enough of that. The conference is done. Uh, I don't know what that was. We're on to our feature, Lads in Agony. I'm going to read out messages sent in by our viewers who are asking for advice. Our first message was sent in from Joe from Croydon, who says, Lads, my mate slept with my aunt's sister and I don't know what to do. Auntie's, Whoa. auntie's sister? I think he's talking about his mum. 
He's bombed. Well, that's a tricky situation. Um, that is a tricky situation. Um, it was at a family barbecue after a few ciders. His mum and the friend got a bit tipsy. It's, it's always the ciders, isn't it? It always is. <laughs> when the mum's got the bormers, you're just like, you watch her. You're like, I know what you're <laughs> yeah, going to yeah, do. Uh, but no, it must have been stringing for a bit of a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She must have invited. She's like, oh, is Jack coming over? <laughs> I like Jack. It's like, oh, yeah, well, we all know why now, don't we? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You should have saw this coming. Yeah. Because, you know, I, w I know I could just use that around. Yeah, yeah. Like, we're such good friends. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. your fiance yeah. is safe. Is yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've never met your mum. <laughs> yeah. So. I don't know. I love you, I love you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. So, <laughs> what advice should we guys give uh, to Joe? Um, well, you've got to think of, stay positive. You yeah. Know, yeah. Think of just, positive. just move on. His I mum mean, got what she wanted, yeah. and he's got to accept that that's what yeah. happened. Yeah. 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 And if his mum is yeah. free, yeah. then maybe can go on a double yeah. date. Double dates. I think we should invite him on the cute. show to do it, and we'll film yeah. it. And we're like, yeah, yeah let's just, you know. Yeah. yeah. Like love knows no bounds. Thing, like, yeah, we'll, exactly. We'll you know Yeah. Oh, lovely. All right. Well, our second message was sent in from Alistair from Middlesbrough. He says, guys, um, my mate slept with my girlfriend and he doesn't know what to do. Just move on. <laughs> Just move on. That's what I'm thinking. Just forget me. Yeah. It'd be terrible to be in Alistair's situation right now. Yeah, man. Yeah. But the way he's got to look at it, he said he's 19 years old. He's young. Doesn't matter. Yeah. He can yeah. move on. 90's like... What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 90's the new 10, really. So, I mean, you've got plenty of time. Yeah, yeah. Just, just go exactly. out and enjoy yourself. You yeah, know. yeah, exactly. Plenty, plenty more fishing. It might have been, been like a good thing. Who knows? He might have moved yeah. on. His life will be better for it. You never know. I you know. never know. Stay positive once again. That's the main message. Stay positive. Stay positive. Get Tinder. Yeah, swipe Get right on everyone. Yeah. Get Tinder. That's where you find love of your life, on Tinder. We all yeah. know it. You know, if we're filming the other day, we might as well film his journey moving on. Yeah. A documentary we'll for yeah, we'll, yeah. We'll catch up with him. A sad guy into a very happy... Loving guy. What happens yeah. if it doesn't? That doesn't happen, though. No. It will happen. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. TV, okay I'm sorry. Anything can happen. Yeah, guys. it will happen. Like we can pretend to like you. Anyway, yeah. our third and final message was sent in from Will from Ulster. He's. I had to include this because it sort of ran close to home. He says, "My friend." He says something about his friends making fun of him, yeah. and I just sort of felt like that was jazz in this situation with us guys because. Yeah, but I know no, that because like that guy, he must be quite serious. Yeah. Um, he's, he's probably getting a bit down of it. But, you know, I, I don't get down with you guys because I know our banter is just banter. You know, yeah, yeah. You'll yeah, probably well, see each other yeah, at the pub it's, later it's, it's on. Not, and no. just, it's, it's not, yeah. though. Oh, no. Um, yeah. We're not going out tonight. We had a party last night. Yeah. <laughs> see, it never stops with you guys. It just no, never no, stops. No, no. you knew. Yeah. Your girlfriend came. Yeah. No, she was, she was at bingo. Like, she wasn't out. Was yeah, bingo. Bingo. Yeah, yeah. I thought that's what she's What's like. What's her this name? Is Edith. What... Is she 80? Did you take her around and walk around a nursing home? <laughs> what do you mean? She was at the party, Yaz. Don't be a fool. Come on. No, no, no. She was telling me how good bingo is, you know, for you and people. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, well, what was the best time. part of bingo? Because the best part of the party was when she was dancing and just taking oh, shots. She has, she's not been home yet. She hasn't been home yet? No, she oh. said it. She said bingo went on. So. Well, she did go into some guy's Mercedes after the party, so I don't know what happened, mate, but. <laughs> What? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm sure, it's, I'm sure it's all good. I'm sure she's banter, driving her home. You guys are better. I'm looking, oh, Yaz. No. Anyway, I think it's back to look at our competition. Here's another look at our competition. <laughs> now it's your chance at home to win something for yourself. We're giving you the chance to go on a holiday of a lifetime. Let's see where you might go. You might be going to Vienna, visiting the beautiful museums and cultural monuments that define Austria's history. Or Paris, going to the beautiful shops and seeing the wonderful architecture. Or maybe even a trip to London to go see a West End show and a night in the Five Star Hotel. To gain a chance to win these three fantastic holidays, all you have to do is tell us who is starring as Superman in the new Batman v Superman film. Please text us in at 07859 4779. It will cost you a standard network rate, and please ask your bill payers permission before entering. Good luck. I believe that's all we have time for. Wait, wait, wait. Can we just clear this up? Oh, for God's sake, Can we just yes. clear this Because we are friends, though, aren't we? No, we're not. Yeah. I don't like you. We make fun of you. Yeah. Your girlfriend <sighs> came to our party without you. I don't Let me thank my production crew and my wonderful presenters, apart from Yaz, for helping to make such an amazing show. Next week, we have a two-pack and Robbie Williams ghost collaboration and Rick Ross will be performing CrossFit. We'll also find out if Yaz has a soul or friends. Well, I hope you're my friends. But have a good night, everyone, and a good evening. Bye.